Hey, happy Saturday, everybody. I'm back with this wardrobe again. I can see that I have some wet paint here, but this was Firestarter. And um, I thought I would work on the doors with you guys tonight. This is a piece that I'm really trying to get finished before the new year so I can get some photographs of it and surprise you all with the finished look in the second issue of the Turquoise Cyrus Journal. So I hope everybody had a wonderful Christmas. I'm back again, you guys. I'm on day 94. Day 94 of 100. Hello, Annette. And um, I want to say to you all, as a reminder, this is the direction we're going with our color inspiration, okay? Hi, Betty. Uh, this is the color. So we're, we're going with the cherry picked as our main focus color. So looking at this, I was just kind of taking a look at this and looking, going on, you know, down at the bottom. Okay, so... Um, showing you down at the bottom, we have we added cherry picked the other night, then we added in some cowgirl coral, and then we topped it off with some mermaid tail, which are all colors from DIY Paint. I'm so excited to work on this piece. I have a tutorial that I'm putting together for also for the journal. But just as a reminder, these are the colors that we are using as our inspiration. So you can see a lot of that teal and that mermaid tail. Um, there's even some blue iris, so I think what I decided to do was figure out a way to put some blue iris in this bay, because why not? Um, when we were trying to decide which painting we were going to use for our inspiration, uh, this cherry picked kind of one over the blue iris, but I think we can do all of it. I think we can. So um, we're going to move up this direction, and what I realized I needed to add was some red. So although the color is is a true cherry picked. When I add the cowgirl coral, it becomes a little bit more muted. So I got to bring back that fire. So I'm going to be adding in some marquee as well. Um, hello, everybody. I'm so glad you're here. Um, hello, hello. Uh, guys, Matt's not on. He's painting the bedroom. I was too, actually. So I took a break to come in here with you guys. Uh, but I told Matt, or I asked Matt, are you going to come on or do you want to keep painting? He goes, I think I should keep painting, don't you? So he's still in there rolling the walls. Started from the door into the bedroom and in the little hallway. So yes, he's painting the bedroom, working on it, which is where I'm going to go back. We literally only started on it about an hour ago. Two of you that one brushes the other night for thank uh, for Christmas Eve special. You haven't emailed me and we can't ship these. Uh, Beverly Goodman and Beverly Copsey. I looked you up, ladies. I can't find your address. So send me an email, Dion at the turquoiseiris.com. Hello, everybody. Hi, Mama. I hope you're feeling better. Yay for Matt. That's so exciting. The bathroom is done. So if we can get the hallway done tonight. Um, but look, Beverly's, both of you, Beverly Goodman, Beverly Copsey, everybody else, I have your address. You're good if you're not a Beverly. Um, okay. So this is Firestarter. We've got cherry picked and cowgirl coral tonight on the doors. We're going to add in some mermaid tail and then I am going to wet everything again and start throwing in some red because I can. That's the only explanation I have. New earrings, Bohemian craft house, Bohemian craft house. Um, Rob, I don't remember me pulling your name, but I do have your address. Thank you for asking. <laughs> um, let me grab my colors, you guys. But like I said, we're not going to interrupt Matt because he's on a roll. Oh, God. That's good, Dion. That's good. That's a good one. All right. So I have my Dusty and I have my colors side by side here and on my tray. And I've got my Water Girl. And I'm just going to kind of get started working in the Cherry Picked and the Cowgirl Coral. Again, one more day, maybe two more days of this piece, and then I'm going to do it. Yeah. Thanks, Bub. It's pretty good. Um, I'm going to um, save it for the reveal of the, if I can get it done. Guys, just a little tip. If you get your water girl and you fill it to the top and then you tighten your lid really tight, if you tighten it too tight, it won't pop. That's one thing. So you have to open it back up, loosen it, and then not twist it quite as tight. It just happened to me and now it's spraying tricks. Thank you, my Michelle. How are you? I miss you. We missed you on here, Miss Michelle. 
Merry Christmas, everybody. I hope your day was wonderful. Mine was different, but still so wonderful. I got a microphone. It's official. I'm a podcaster. It's official. I open it and I look at it and I'm like, do I really need this? Like I have little, little things, you know, like little pocket mics. He just looks at me like, you always just say, what? I don't need this. Well, I don't need it. But he edits the podcast and he's tired of the audio not sounding perfect. So I'm going to set my microphone with my headphones on my ironing board in my closet and be a professional podcaster. But you guys, it's growing like crazy. We hit 5,000 the other day and we've surpassed 5,200 now. So it's still just rocking and rolling every day. I'm super proud of you guys and so, so thankful for your support. And I'm so glad that you love it. So I'm going to let some of that orange th show through you all. There's no way I'm going to cover all that fire up. And then I'm going to go back into the room and start working on more of the trim. So we pulled off the ultimate surprise. We surprised my youngest with a car. And he turned bright red, even though he wasn't embarrassed. But he said his heart started racing. <laughs> and he said, did you give me your car? And I said, does that sound like something I would do? And he said, yes, you did it last year for Elijah. <laughs> so he was totally surprised. We pulled it off. It was awesome. We hid it at Matt's mom's house. And then Christmas Eve, we drove over there. And we brought it back and had it sitting in the driveway, kind of hidden. So if he looked out his bedroom window, he wouldn't be able to see it. That was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. How was everybody else's Christmas? <laughs> and so there is a mic drop. Um, he, he was pretty excited. He laid on the hood of it. I didn't show you guys that picture. But uh, he, he said, here's the funny thing, guys. He said, Mom, I, I don't care what car you guys get me. Just anything but white. We got him a white car. It's just the way it works out sometimes. Good deal, right price, right miles. I was like, well, we'll take the white one. He's he's 15. He doesn't get all his wants, right? He wanted like black, blacked out wheels and rims and like, I don't know, but that's, I don't know what that's about. You can do that yourself. Lindsay said, I got a present. Lindsay, why don't you tell everybody what you got? Yeah, so mom, if you're on here, we just started the room about an hour and a half ago. I said, hey, honey, do you want to paint the room? He was like, I'll do whatever you want me to do. I said, well, I have a lot of energy. This might be a really good time, but let's go paint the room. Of course, like I said, it's just the hallway, not the room. If we could get that hallway done tonight, that'd be amazing. So I'm letting this orange peek through that cherry picked color, and I just adore this. Um, this is going to be good. This is going to be really good. And I'm contemplating painting the inside of this one because I want it in the journal. So, of course, I want it to be super special. Um, those colors look like fire. Thank you, Melanie. Matt actually said it looked like it had been burned, so I kind of went on you, but I know that's not what you mean, Melanie Mel. I'm looking forward to meeting you. You bought your ticket. Melanie, you bought your ticket. I'm looking forward to meeting you in Albuquerque in just a few weeks. So I'm. we're going to have copper in here as well. Uh, DIY is pending from heaven. We will have that in here. Going to somehow find a way to fit some blue iris in here. I don't know. 
I don't know. It may be a mistake, but guess what? It's just paint, so we'll just work over it. Very rustic love it. It will not look rustic at all, Ryan. I promise you. I'm I, it just won't. Like when it's when it's done, it's gonna be extremely elegant. It's gonna be elegant. <laughs> The top, look at the top of this piece in case you guys haven't seen it. If you're new, look at the top. See that? Oh my gosh. I'm going to paint the inside of it. It's going to be a surprise color because I hate the painting inside of it. So it's got to be a really good color, if you know what I mean. Hint, hint, for me to like it or to take the time to do it. It's quite what about Mr. Matt, isn't it? Anybody want to share what their favorite gift was if they got one? Anybody want to share? Going to have to be have a ladder to get up there. I totally am. Mm, Betty. You're clever. You're clever. I wanted to place an order, but the shipping was going to be $23. Is there any coupons for lowering lower? Um, what were you trying to order, Alice? May I ask? If it was for paint then no, I'm not actually allowed to do that online. When you sell paint online, you have to use DIY's um, pricing. So we're not undermining the other retailers who sell online. Uh, if it was tools, equipment, it should definitely not have been that, that rate. So paint is extremely expensive to insure, to, paint, to uh, ship, and it's very heavy. But I can maybe help you find a retailer in your area where you can buy it locally or close by. But I would let, were you trying to order paint, Alice? I did get your email, by the way. So I have your brush that you won. We have it boxed up and ready to go. We buy all year long. We don't do gifts. Gotcha, Carol. Liquid Sunshine or 057 inside would really pop. Yes, girl, it would. I will not do yellow, though. I will not do solid yellow ever because it takes about six coats, uh, it seems like, to cover. Guess what opens in a few days? <laughs> mm. um. Hi, Melanie Whitaker. How are you, darling? The Creative Connection is opening. Thank you, Ryan Sharp. I appreciate you. Uh, it's really, it looks really great over the fire starter. I don't know why the light looks like this on me. Guys, I don't know what's going on with that. It was the most silent Christmas ever. <laughs> I'm sure it's for, it was for many people. And I, that's uh, one of the reasons why we wanted to come on Christmas Eve the way we did. That was a lot of fun, you guys. We really added to the Christmas holiday spirit by hanging out with us and letting us give away some gifts. And hold on, we're gonna we're gonna get some cowgirl coral in here in just a second. And some mermaid tail. I know that I'm I'm missing a lot of comments and everything, but that's because my guy is painting the bedroom and I'm gonna let him keep working. We've got one out of town with a friend and the other with Julia. So it's just us. All right, now for the cowgirl coral. I 
I also got new boots embroidered with flowers on them. Does Michelle not have a wrench? No, I can't figure out how to do it. it do, does she need one right now? Is there something on here, guys? Just be careful because all the pills cannot be ground. Time release. I, okay. Oh, thank you. Did I, I did not, Karen. I left the painting. I have not painted at all, guys. I literally didn't work yesterday. And um, I haven't, this is where we left off the other night to give to Jackie Stratum because she won. So I haven't touched it whatsoever. This is my first time to be painting since Christmas Eve. I didn't work or do anything yesterday. It kind of looks mahogany. You're right. It really does. It's going to be really rich with the copper on the metal um, and popping some of that teal. Oh, it's going to be good. Cherry picked fire starter calc curl. So far, Brooke Collins, you've got it, sister. You've got it. We're going to get in some mermaid tail and we're going to get in some marquee or maybe carnival red, I should say, because it's more of our orangey red. And what else did we have? Remember our color card, our painting. Where's our painting? So there's a few other colors we could sneak in there. There's some yellow and some pink. <laughs> And a surprise color will go on the inside. Cheryl, I could have as many people have a wrench as possible. Um, and I've done it once. I had to Google. I had to get on YouTube and figure out how to give somebody a wrench. And I think they have to comment or they had to do something. And um, I went one night to give Michelle a wrench and couldn't figure it out. And I gave up. Anyway, these boots, my mother-in-law bought me these boots. They're ink, they're like a mid, mid calf boots and they're beige suede with embroidered like white, creamy white embroidered flowers on them. Oh, true story, I sent the link to her hoping I could get them. Yes, I am Crystal. <laughs> Cause this is going in the journal and I want it to be poof. Um, And uh, I flipped the boots over and on the bottom, they're painted turquoise. I didn't know it. Yeah, turquoise. So I put them on, of course, and walked around. But I was so excited because the bottoms were turquoise. So how am I going to keep them from getting scuffed up? And then I thought, where am I going to wear these boots? I love them. They sound beautiful. I should have brought them. I've never had anything like them before, that's for sure, but I'm excited to try them. Okay, so right now we're just working in some, some uh, cherry-picked cowgirl coral. Over the fire starter, we're letting that orange peek through. And if you remember, I showed a picture of her thighs the corners right the other night and, and did some wet sanding after the live took a picture and um, it's good it's good stuff So those of you that come on here all the time, if you've never heard about my Creative Connection, just so you understand, it is a private closed membership group where I spend a lot of my time. A lot of time spent tutorials and mindset and business creativity. We have guests and we're going to open up on the um, January 1st and 2nd. So if you're interested in doing that, let me know. We have a link. Is it pinned right here? No, that's not the pin. Um, what do you do to wet sand? Is it for sale on your site? 
Um, this piece will be available for sale on my site when I'm done. I just use a rag and spray my water bottle on it to wet sand, or um, if I want to really do it heavily, I will grab, uh, thank you Lolly and thank you Michelle, um, I will grab a wet wipe. But that I wanted to, I wanted to really have control over how much wet sanding I was going to be doing, Shanoa. And so I just lightly missed my rag. I had more control over how much moisture is going on it that way. Um, but I'm excited for 2021 because we have some new things that are going to be coming into the Creative Connection as far as some of my guests. Um, with the journal magazine, I have... I, can't, I keep telling you I have a surprise person tonight. I know that's kind of rude, but I still keep thinking, OMG, if we're already in the creative connection, do we sign up again? No, ma'am, you do nothing. No, ma'am, you don't have to do anything. This is just for new members. I don't, it's closed. It hasn't been open since October 3rd. And so um, I'm letting everybody know because my emails are coming out and all that. I keep talking about it. I just need to make sure everybody understands what it is and how to get there. Um, but it's a closed group on Facebook. Okay, so this top part up here, I'm not going to work on it yet because I'm going to create a tutorial for the people in the journal that are subscribed. Um, so I'm not going to work on that just yet because I have to raise my camera, get a ladder, do a lot of filming, do a little start, stop, 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 stop. Uh, thank you, my Michelle. Um, and YouTube, we do have a membership there. Uh, Tammy, I know there's not a certain amount. I just leave it open for a couple of days until people stop, like, getting in and so it starts to kind of slow down um and then i just close it back up thank you guys look at my earrings from the bohemian craft house she had an online sale the other day and i snagged these um the hoops they're pink but they kind of look good with this piece of furniture right now you're welcome so this is the inside matt's gonna put oh i can't open it anymore i took the hardware off just now uh matt was going to put a new back on it because it was had a tv in it so we're going to put a new back, and then I'm going to put a surprise pop of color in there. Would you have never thought to use those colors together? It's going to be good, sis. It's going to be real good. So you just kind of have to pull out some colors that make this so dramatic. And um, let me let you look at the bottom. It's already dry down there on the bottom. We did this a few nights ago. And... We're going to add some red to it and more mermaid tail. I know that always sounds. Oh, I couldn't read that fast enough, Julie. I'm sorry. The comments were coming in, but I do want to go back and, and check that out. Thank you. If you're just popping on, Matt's not here with me. He is painting the bedroom, getting started on it. We started that about an hour and a half ago, and um, he decided to keep painting. Okay, I think we're ready to get some mermaid tail. Or, hold on. Okay, so I just want to see while this paint's kind of wet what the mermaid tail does to it. So let's try that. I mean, not mermaid tail, guys, the red. Let me just do this real quick. Because if I don't like it, I'm going to paint back over it. Okay, if you are Beverly Copsey or Beverly Goodman, please send me your physical mailing address.
please. Because I have packages for you and I can't ship them. Free free things you won the other day. Oh no, I'm so sorry. You can tell I'm doing this by myself tonight, huh? Sorry, guys. Oh, I hate all these noises I'm making right now. Sorry. I really just wanted you to see the red. Thank you, Kathy Cooper. I wasn't sure, but I got that cheesy grin on my face that says, yes, girl. Do more of that. I love it. We'll boo his. We boo hissing. That's crazy. Dasha doesn't tell you that part. What? So my brother thinks he's real now, and he said, "Best Christmas ever." Oh, Merry Christmas, Gavin. Okay. I am missing everything, and so I'm just going to keep painting. Rob says something is magical, so I don't know what is, but I'm glad something is magical for you guys. Okay. All right, so I have it heavy here and here, and so I'm just, instead of putting more red over here, I'm going to keep this more cherry picked. I'm going to pull the red back down over here on this side. Okay. Guys, the paint is what makes this so easy for me. And the only thing I can say is this is the clay base. And then I'm going to pull some of it in down here in the door. So it just basically keeps your eye moving all over the piece like a piece on your wall would, okay? Like an abstract piece of art. This is gonna keep your eye going. If we get too much red, we'll put some cowgirl coral over it or we'll, we'll do something different. But we're gonna layer these colors by golly. We're gonna get some mermaid tail here in just a second. It's splotchy because it's wet in areas and it's not wet in other areas. Now I'm just, kind of, there's no extra paint on here. I'm just kind of dry brushing and smoothing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Tanette Major, thank you, honey. I love you. Thank you, Alice. Merry Christmas, hon. 
Okay, I'll back you guys back up for a minute. So that was our base color right there. We're going to put copper up there on the metal. I'm going to show you the original hardware. I may have to brush, this is, this is all gold, whitewash gold. I may have to wash some copper on here. Hi, gorgeous, you're pretty, mm, right? Thank you, Caroline, I think so. The new turtle coming out in the channel, get your subscription of the by the whole year. Yes, that's right. Thank you so much for helping me, Lolly. Thank you. Michelle is um, gonna, you guys, anything? and everything. Michelle can hook you guys up. Lolly can help. I thought you were talking to me. I was, Crystal. Looking good, girl. Just about stepped in the cowgirl coral, so I didn't, but that was close call. All right, so a little bit more red down here on the bottom, and especially since I didn't put any on these drawers down here. I'll have to remember to go back and do that. But I'm going to put a little bit more red down here and then we'll grab a little bit of mermaid tail, okay? And then I'm going to have to go finish helping Matt with the trim because I'm doing the cut in while he's rolling. Thank you, Amber. I was just showing off your earrings earlier. I told everybody about my new earrings. You know there are a lot of paint groups out there, guys. I get it. I know there's a lot of paint groups. I've just prided myself on building up quite a library of information and continuing to show up for you guys every single day. I'm just doing the best I can, helping you guys learn. I learn while we all learn. All right now I'm just kind of hitting that, just kind of dry brushing a little bit, adding that texture, but I like that red down there on that, on that little molding there. Well, someone called my mom and told her to please call me, but not on my phone because I can't have any more tonight. Thanks, bye everyone, sorry. Okay. Thank you, Alice. Thank you, Betty. Lolly's going to send her a message. Okay. The hardware is fabulous, but secondary to your painting. Thank you, Julie Morris. I appreciate you. All right, let's grab a little mermaid tail because we can and do a little shimmy shimmy because we can again. And um, I'm going to get my French tip to do the mermaid tail. Now, if you're not sure what color that is, if you're new here, Delicious. Mm -hmm. And because it's in our inspiration painting, there's a lot of it I used with my oil pastel, my teal there. We've got to get it in there. Okay. Now this is the French tip from Paint Pixie. Guys, you remember the, the deer painting, Leaps and Bounds? It sold today. Someone fell in love with my painting. I was so happy. The deer painting. I've never painted anything that looks like much of an animal before. I don't know. Have I? Have I? I don't know. I was thinking, have I ever sold an animal painting? I didn't plan on it looking like an animal, but it certainly did. Someone bought that today.
Today it was 66 degrees and I'm not bragging. I'm just saying I took a long walk. It was nice. It was really nice. See? Look at all these delicious colors. Maybe more animals now? I don't know, Betty. I didn't plan to make to paint that animal. It just turned into one, you know? Ooh, I just had a wild thought, guys. Okay, that was too much mermaid toe. I had way too much on my brush just then. See, it like totally covered all of the purple and I did not plan on doing that. So I'm just gonna let it dry and the next time I have my, my cherry picked out, I'm gonna kind of dry brush over it because this little section got way too thick. Okay. Oh, y'all can't see. This is the hard part of working on these big pieces, guys. I feel like I move you guys in 20 different directions and I'm so nope nope no drips yet Janae not yet soon child soon This brush isn't working for this look. I need a charm of caddy. Anybody love this caddy? You can tell how much I use it. I love it. Let me try that. Here we go. This has such a soft touch because the bristles are four inches. Okay, this is already my favorite section right here of this piece of furniture, I'm just saying. I'll take a picture of that, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so the last thing we're going to do is put the red down on the bottom and then I'm signing off. Have y'all seen Debbie Goodman or Debbie Copsey on here? Maybe their email addresses or their mailing addresses. So if you're just popping on, 
That brush is called the Caddy. It's for blending. You can hold it like this and it's, um, thank you. How much is that gross? Carlos, what do you mean gross? Like which, which part are you asking me for? This brush or something different? I decided I needed the red on here because I was back looking at my painting and those that, that cherry picked is really deep on here and so I want more of a richness. Now I'm going to spray this. I'm going to let it sit for just a second. Sorry, I don't see. Um, oh, wait. Okay, I got him. I got him. Thank you. I got him. Thank you guys. Somebody needs to get a life on a Saturday night. A little troll. I mean, if he was smart, he would be painting. I got a little more red than I wanted, guys. I'm not going to lie. But I'm going to wait till it dries and not mess with it. I had a little bit more red on my brush than I wanted. So I'm going to try to smooth it out just a little bit. Well, no, no, no. I like it. I'm looking in the mirror and I'm like, or the TV, and I'm like, no, no, no. I actually like that. So, yeah. Yeah, it helps sometimes to look back at the screen. <laughs> so in the Creative Connection, guys, if you're in there already, we start Monday with a new furniture tutorial. And guess what? I don't have a piece of furniture. So that's what I'm doing tomorrow is trying to find a piece of furniture. <laughs> so, but... I have, I know what we're doing, but I don't have the furniture to do it on. So, um, I'm excited for that. But Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we will be finishing up the month with a furniture tutorial. That's exclusively for you guys. Thank you, Derek. Surprise color going on the inside. I hope I can get it done before I need to get the photographs to my editor, Miss Cammy Cam and, um, get it featured in the journal. I will have that announcement for who's going to be in it as well who will have their very own spread 
Anybody have any questions before we go? I'm going to get back in there and help Matt. Thank you, Karen. I so appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it looks fabulous. Where did you learn this technique of blending so many colors and using your spray bottle? Danny, I taught myself. I 100% taught myself how to do that. Um, that is just kind of one thing I'm known for. And I was terrified to show people what I was doing because I thought people would think I was crazy for wetting furniture and getting moisture on it. But DIY paint, um, it's a clay base and it also hardens like, you know, clay. It's very hard. Um, so it holds onto water. It's like mud. And so it helps the colors blend. And um, I used to just use my old bottle from wet, at Westlake Hardware and just spray or my old Clorox, not Clorox, Windex bottles and stuff like that. Um, but what would happen was you'd get a little bit of glops of water and then I'd be like, oh, that's too much water. Um, so the, the fine mist sprayer works out a whole lot better. Um, but I started working on canvas at the same time I was doing it. And so that's how I was learning to paint on canvas. I was creating my, sea scene, my seascapes with water and turning my pieces of furniture on the side like I was doing my canvas. Um, and so once I realized I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys what I'm doing, it was received mostly well by the paint community. Um, there were some people who thought I was crazy, like the crazy girl who sits on her floor and sprays her furniture, floor of her garage, next to her car. But I don't mind being that. I'm used to it now. Um, and I think a lot of people have learned that the water helps and a lot of people use water now. So I'm glad that I went ahead and showed everybody what I did and got over the fact that I was, I, I remember thinking I'm going to be chastised and my business is over if I show them. <laughs> um, but anyway, thank you guys. I appreciate you uh, so much. We'll be back tomorrow night. What's tomorrow? Tomorrow's Sunday, so 8.30 Central Time. And um, I'll be on all week. And then Friday on the 1st, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to take a break from doing my lives every single day. So since October 1st, I've missed four days. That's it. And most of those days I've been on more than once. I've been on two or three times in my other groups. So everybody, I appreciate you more. So everybody have a great day. I'm anxious to get moving on this too, but you know, I've done this. I The side, the side on this side's done, but that side only has the orange. So I have a long ways to go. Um, everybody have a great night. We'll see you back tomorrow. Take care.